right now, the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Well, let's take a look over Arkansas this evening. So we've got a good bit of traffic here on I-40, but the other thing I wanted to call your attention to, a little bit of light there showing up on the western horizon. Looks like a little bit from a city there, but still that glow this evening as we're seeing the latest sunsets of the year around the next two weeks here. Now, Memphis, we're sitting at 78 degrees. Blytheville at 80 degrees. Corinth, Mississippi at 73. A few other places around the neck of the woods here. We've got Oxford at 72. Clarksdale has been on the warmer side, 79 degrees. We've also had a sensor issue that's been putting the heat index over 112. Don't pay attention to that. Now, the heat is on, not quite that hot over the next couple of days. High temperatures are going to be in the mid-90s. Heat indices over 100 degrees. Now, the fortunate thing, Rudy will like this, we might have a little bit of a cool down from some showers to come through. But it's going to be very sparsely populated there across Kansas and into the Midwest. We've had a long line of severe weather developing this afternoon. It's not going to make it to the mid south, though. It'll fizzle out overnight and we might just see some remnant clouds coming in. A sprinkle is all that we would see if it even holds together. Here's a look at that hour hour forecast. There's those clouds moving through overnight by Friday afternoon. We still have a little bit of a northerly breeze, but it's not going to be enough to really cool us down. It'll just be moving around that hot air uh, as we head into Saturday. Again, a little bit of cloud cover. It's just going to be that bubbly clouds from just a little bit of that daytime convection, but we might have a chance for an isolated shower or two. It's not going to be a lot of rain. It's not going to be a big relief, but if you get the rain, it'll feel nice. Then as we head through early next week, that's when we have some better rain chances. Again, it's not going to be a washout, not going to be really any severe weather, so some good news there, but a little bit of moisture coming up out of the Gulf of Mexico. That also means it's bringing with it a lot of high humidity, so it's not going to be the best feeling weather. Temperatures as we head overnight tonight, 68 degrees for Memphis, Corinth, 63 for your low, Clarksdale down to around 65 degrees, and Truman, Arkansas down to around 66. As we head through the morning, look at that. Nine o'clock, we're already in the low 80s th then. So we're going to see that heat starting very early. If you do enjoy a run outside, maybe try for some of those early morning hours. Afternoon highs are going to be in the mid 90s. Heat indices starting to creep up, not quite to 100 just yet, but still in the upper 90s for that feels like temperature. Your seven day forecast, this of course doesn't look at those heat indices, but we've got those mid to nearly upper 90s there. 97 degrees is where we'll peak out and then we'll dip back a little bit with some of those showers. Yeah, you, you said it exactly right. I'd like to have some cooler temperatures. We've been spoiled up to, to this point. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel like we had a nice ease into summer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can enjoy that, appreciate it for what it was, and now we have to accept it. Well, it seems like summer is staying in its lane and waiting until the official day <laughs> that it's, it's supposed true, to be it's here. True. Yeah, we do have meteorological seasons that start a little bit earlier, but we've been a little behind on that calendar. Yeah, I like it that way. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot, Ken.